Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is one of my favorite type of videos to do. We're talking clean beauty. We've got some brand new Victoria Beckham beauty. We've got Manasi 7, we've got La Bouche Rouge. We're talking about a couple of other brands. And yeah, so if you wanna see what's on my cheeks, my lips, my eyes, this cute thing on my head, just keep watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I so appreciate you when you do. Shout out to all the people who are leaving comments. I really, really, really do love it and loving to see the same names now pop up. I appreciate you guys. Now, let's jump in. So just really quickly, our Breezy Tea product of the day is our black boho head wrap. I've worn this before, I will wear it again, it's black, it matches everything, and that's why it's one of our most popular colors. The silky, stretchy material just feels really soft and it allows you to fashion it into any style you want, like I have here, or one that you, you know, can think of, and it's just easy. So if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, they come in lots of different colors, just visit us at breezytea.com. Now let's talk clean beauty. So today I'm trying to keep everything clean beauty. So far I have on the Victoria Beckham Beauty Augustina Spotter Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. I have my Westman Atelier foundation on two shades, 10 and 11. Um, 11 as more of my contour. 10 is my normal color. And then I could just put a little extra on. I love using, one of the things I love about Clean Beauty is you're able to use um, the product because of the ingredients, they're safer for all different parts of the face. So you can just use them in different ways. So one of the ways I do wear Westman Atelier a lot, like I said, one I use is a bronzer, the foundation stick, vital, vital foundation stick. I um, love wearing the, my normal foundation too as just my concealer, which is what I've done. I've just added a little extra under the eyes. And what I love about this foundation stick is it gives the skin the most beautiful glow. So that's what I have on so far. Oh, and I wanted to mention the, my brows. Rowan Beauty came out in December, I think. I got this stick just before I left America, to, uh, when I left home to come back. Um, and they came out with Val Brow, their brow pencil. And there are three colors, there are only three colors. Spoolie is on one side, and then the, the pencil's on the other side, I'll show you a swatch. And they came out with three colors, medium, um, light, and I guess dark. Don't quote me on those names, I'm just making that up because that just makes sense. Uh, I got medium, and here is the color of medium. Okay, and the pencil tip is really, really fine. So it just allows me to quickly blend in my eyebrows and it's a clean beauty product. So I just wanted to mention that. And we're gonna start off with Manasi 7. Okay, so some weeks back, I was minding my business watching Lisa Eldridge, who I absolutely love and love watching her videos. And she talked about this Manasi 7, it says M7 up here. Um, silk finish powder and it's translucent and she was just going on about how soft it was and how silky it was and I I'd already had this on my radar and I just took took the leap and um, got it now I've already done a Manasi 7 uh, video that we can link and um, it's in on my page and I did like pretty much a face full of Manasi 7 so you can check them out they are a brand out of Sweden uh, from a Swedish Indian woman is behind the brand. So a woman of color and she started this brand basically so that women had choices. And the seven stands for the seven principles that Manasi seven stand on, which are awesome. They're organic, they are sustainable. They're a beautiful, beautiful company. I suggest you go to their site. They have the most wonderful product breakdowns, ingredient lists. Very, very thorough, beautiful looking site. Let's see how this translucent powder shows up on my brown skin, but I'm just going to, now it is a loose powder. So um, I'm just going to swipe this under my eyes. Let's go. Powders are never the most exciting things, eh? Excuse if you see like snow flying around. Um, uh, 
Powders are never really that exciting to show on camera, are they? Essential little product, but not that exciting to show. So it is giving me a little brightening effect. It's brightening, but it's not like leaving a cast. We brown girls know that cast is never a good thing, okay? So then I wanna put it where I would normally put um, just, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> where I would normally perspire first. I don't use a lot of powder, I don't bake. Oh, it's showing up here a little whiter. I don't bake, I don't do all that stuff. I don't, have, I don't have time for that. Let's feel this though. Holy, y'all, this feels so soft under here. When Lisa said it, I was like, come on, how soft could it be? And you might be thinking that right now, like how soft can it be? Cause it sounds so like, you know, dramatic. It's not, they named this silk for a reason. And this feels really, really soft underneath the eyes. And listen, they're serious about Manasi 7, about that, you know, clean, sustainable life. Their um, products come in this paper, this cardboard, these cardboard boxes, okay? Really, really nice, substantial cardboard boxes. And they come in these little pots, okay? The individual things come in these little pots. Now, next up is one of their, they're not one of, their newest all over color Manchetti, okay? And can you see this? It's a beautiful, beautiful brown color, rich color. I wanted a color that was super, super neutral on days when I just want a little bit of zhuzhing, but I don't necessarily want colors. And the Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeshadow uh, palette that we're gonna get to in a second was sort of the catalyst for wanting to just keep this all pretty neutral and not do too much. Okay, so here's the color, Manchetti. It's very, very pretty. And you saw the rich color in the pot, it shears out. It does shear out. And this smell, I could not put my finger on it. It smells like funnel cakes when you used to go to the amusement parks. I don't know, it's like sweet and yum. it's just yummy. It smells really yummy and I know that that smell is coming from uh, a, an organic place. I don't know what it is, but it smells really good. Anyway, so I was, I'm going to put this on this is an all over color, so I could wear it on my eyes, my lips, my cheeks. I'm going to focus on this as a blush, okay? And this is tricky because it's brown. Brown girls know that brown on brown, you really do have to get the right shade. And I'm just gonna tap it out with my finger because it's, it's just easiest to. And um, you have to get the right shade. It can look ashy. It can look like you're bruised, which nobody wants, especially on the cheeks. We don't want a bruised look, okay? Or it could just not show up. So you've just spent money on something that just doesn't show up on your skin. I'm actually really, really liking this. And I don't know if it's being picked up in the camera, but it is, it's like a, a subtle brown, cause it is a little darker than my skin tone. So I think I'm just getting away with uh, this color for this purpose. And look, it's giving a beautiful, a beautiful glow to my cheeks. Now I'm gonna say this, because I do love this brand. I love what they stand for. They need to work on the models that they use. On social media, there are a lot of fair skin women. And I have a particular raised eyebrow about it because like I said, this brand is from an Indian woman who is not particularly fair. So I think they really need to get some work done in that area. I've seen people ask on social media for pictures on darker models and it's 2020 folks. Let's get it together. So, I mean, I, I wanna be helpful and that is why I started doing YouTube. I wanna be helpful to people who are curious about a brand, but that's the brand's job. As a business owner, when we started our business, when we started taking pictures with models, I made it a point. 
I said to my husband, we are not taking model, we're not taking pictures without a, um, a dark skin, darker than me, dark skin woman, a brown skin woman. I wanted women to be represented, <clears throat> especially women who look like me, hello. So yeah, that needed to be said, but this is beautiful. I hope it's showing up, it's so pretty guys. And of course I love my creams. You can't tell where things begin, where they end. So I'm taking it up like I would my blush. And it's giving me that neutral zhuzhed up cheek. Again, it's cutting it close with my complex complexion. They have a lot of colors though in this uh, all over color. They have a lot of colors. It's cutting it close. I think a little bit darker, it would look like bruising on my cheeks and a little bit lighter, it wouldn't show up. So next up, we have Victoria Beckham Beauty brand new smoky eye brick in silk. This packaging gets me every time. This design that I absolutely love. You can find it on all their products. Their lip products, their skincare products. It's so beautiful. And this is what we have inside. This silk smoky eye brick is a bronzy, coppery, feel we've got gold we've got bronze we've got copper they are shimmers and i believe this is a new formula for the brand i have two other smoky eye bricks again did videos for all of their products you can find that on my page and um there are mats in those so i'm super excited to try this formula out it just looks really really lush really really lush and the packaging too, the same with Manasi 7, really responsible packaging, comes in like a paper package. You know, there is um, compostable corn padding in the boxes to protect the product. You get a note from Victoria. She just, she just forgot to put my name in it. She just forgot to put my name on top, but I forgive her. Um, and it's just the little touches that I want when I'm buying luxury things. So they nailed it. Let's get to some swatches really quickly and then I cannot wait to get this on my eyes. Let's go. Well, damn, these might be the softest swatches I've ever done. That went on like butter, okay? These are so soft on the hands. Beautiful copper color, the gold. Y'all, sophistication personified. I am in love with this smoky eye brick. First of all, it is a truly universal palette. This is gonna be beautiful on brown skin, on fair skin. You have different, like I said, shades of goldy colors. So you'll find your thing. You'll be able to find, you know, your look with this palette just as smoothly as it went on my hand, it went on my eyes, just stunning. I used all four colors. I used the lightest gold color, just in the brow bone, and just a little bit in the um, tear ducts. The copper color, I went all over my eyes. The dark brown color, I went in with the crease, and then I went in with the gold color, the more bold gold um, on my lid. And ah, I also picked up the black, satin kajal liner so this is my second liner from victoria beckham beauty and these are so creamy listen i didn't want to subject you to my struggle application i do not wear liner a lot because the i just don't i had a phase where i wore it a lot and i don't but hers are so beautiful i have another one that i just wanted the black one it's super black and i just smoked it out a little bit up here and i put it underneath my eyes and I just like how it brought the whole look together. Each liner does come with a uh, sharpener and super creamy and the smudger is on the other side. I use both of them so I just wanted to mention that. I also put on my Westman Atelier I Love You Clean Mascara. So we've got a clean face going on. I put the gold color 
on my Cupid's bow as well. So yeah, it's a beautiful, the formula is stunning. It's just how I like my shimmers. Really finely milled, so it goes on smoothly. No sparkle, no like overt anything. It just looks sophisticated. It looks chic, and I expected nothing less from Victoria Beckham and Victoria Beckham Beauty. I forgot, because I wanna try these clean products in different ways, I wanna try this lightest gold color here. And I want to try it as a highlighter, okay? So let's see how this works out as a, look at that, it's popping already. Oof. So, beautiful. I'm gonna, because it's a powder, I just want to, you know, get rid of the harsh lines. But you can see it makes a really nice, Highlighter too. Yes, Victoria Beckham Beauty. Come through. So I took a little down my nose, my chin, but whoa. Look at this, is beautiful. And it ties the eyes in really nicely to have just the, you know, a little bit here. And depending on your complexion, you can play with the different shades to get it right for your highlighter. This is a probably, maybe one other color would work with for my complexion um, as a highlighter, but oh, now I love it even more. So this was the Victoria Beckham Beauty brand new Silk Smoky Eye Brick. Now let's get to these lips. So finally, a couple of lip products from Le Bouche Rouge. That is the brand that I'm using today. They recently released this lip care set. It comes uh, in this white box again beautiful white box i just want to say something about these boxes um, from these brands we often think of paper perhaps as not being chic but these luxury brands have found a way to make their packaging luxury chic it looks expensive and i just really appreciate how they've played with paper just because it's paper doesn't mean it has to be cheap and they've kept that same luxury feel throughout and it comes across in their paper. So I love that. So anyway, so Le Bouche Rouge recently came out with a lip care set and I lips are one of those things that my lips get dry, they need attention. So I've been using and loving their new lip care uh, set. They are a brand out of France and uh, they are serious about no microplastics. They are serious about sustainability. They are so serious about being environmentally responsible. You can read more about them on their site. Fantastic brand, so kind to the earth. So it comes with the lip care sit, kit, excuse me. Come, oh, I wanted to show you. So they've managed to make the cutest uh, lipstick cases from paper. Now, you can keep yours in here, but they also have refillable leather cases. The color I want won't be in until the fall, so I have to wait. It won't be back until the fall. So for now, they'll be in their paper cases, and they're super easy to use, okay? There are no issues with them at all. This is the lip scrub that comes in the kit. Little granules, they are very, very uh, light exfoliation on the lips, no irritation. Really, really nice to scrub the lips. And then you put on the serum. I was wearing the scrub for the first bit of this video, and then I switched to the um, to the balm, okay? Really yummy ingredients in there, uh, natural ingredients, really good stuff in there. And it feels wonderful on the lips. Not super glossy, but it's moisturizing and it's doing what it needs to do. Okay, so my lipstick, too, came in the paper case. And this color is my own color. I defined my own color with them and I didn't get one that they already had. I, I, I made it and it comes with their Certificat de Couleur Unique. It says my name, Brie, and then the name of the lipstick, which is Rui, which I chose French for rust. I mean, why would I put it in English? It's a French brand, let's just give it a French name. So, and if you've seen my French videos before, you know I love saying French words. So I named it Rui, and it is a rust color. And let's see it on the hands. So yeah, you can buy, obviously, pre-made colors, 
or you can make your own. You can buy it without the leather case. Isn't this pretty? It's so rich. Oh, so rich. You can buy it without the case or get the set with the leather case. And they have different color leather cases, okay? So let's just get this on the lips. This is a satin finish. They have matte as well. Mm, mm, mm. I love the shade. I said in the last, uh, my last couple of lipstick videos, I'm not a red person. So to find those alternative pops of color, orange to me suits my skin tone and just my preference. Much better. This is so creamy. If you're into clean products, like I'm into clean products and you get this far in the video, let me know. Do you feel, do you think that these products just feel better on your skin? I think so many of them, it's immediate. It just feels really good. This feels incredibly moisturizing, beautiful sheen on it, still not a thin formula. It's not sheer, it just feels good on the lips. And you can just tell there's something in there. There's a, I don't wanna say a thickness in a bad way, but there's the consistency is making me wonder, hmm, what exactly is in this lipstick? What kind of yummy ingredient is giving it this texture? It's yum. This is really yum and the, the color payoff is beautiful. And again, it feels amazing on my lips and I could not be happier. So this is my face full of clean beauty. I just wanna say my spray, I use the Vol Volition Screen Time Hydra Mist as my spray to keep it completely clean. And yeah, here's hoping that more and more clean brands continue to pop up with responsible packaging, with skin-friendly ingredients, and these brands that I love now continue to grow. I think Le Bouche Rouge, actually I saw pictures of it a while ago. They have lip liners coming. I don't know if this situation has, it might have, um, uh, uh, paused the release date, but I'm excited to try out their next fr product. It's been lipsticks and the lip care set was a new thing for them and now lip liner. So I'm excited to see them grow, Manasi 7 to continue to grow, and of course Victoria Beckham Beauty. I know we have a new lip uh, color coming out soon, so I'm excited to just watch these companies thrive and just keep giving us good products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite clean beauty brand is. If you got any of these products, which ones did you get? What do you love? Let me know. And of course, if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, boho headbands, t-shirt, hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and more. We've got some really cool stuff coming. Just visit us at breezytea.com and I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.